Okay. No, 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 sit away. Okay. 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 No, I'm not. No, it's not. Song. I work against my tackle and make some change. You? Okay. Eldar. 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 This is yours, Eldar? Yeah. As, I, as okay. I'm trying to uh, express. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get anybody a cup of coffee? Oh. Everybody's good. Yeah. Okay. Same as Trip. Somebody? You, you don't have coasters, do you? Um. Yeah. Oh, do you uh, need them for the I, I usually don't use them, you know, the carpet works good. Oh, okay. Or coaster, but you can always use one of these things. Okay. Here. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I did have some coasters, actually. Oh, I have a pair. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Hmm. Is this your game shop? What is that? Uh, no, that, this is Alan. What's, what's the there CDs? I have mine in here, though. Oh, good. good. Oh. Oh, right. Could I have one, or you want to yes. wait for the big pass up later? No. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you. <sighs> you good for light? Yeah, everything's fine. It's a pretty good idea for coasters, actually. Since they're useless, otherwise. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Those grievances? Anyone else? Okay. Oh, Alan is Elgard, and Lisa's uh, Sean. Yeah, I got a couple extra. Now. Modern, one of modern man's conveniences is the electric yeah. light bulb. Just one person's second page. That's all I got. That's it? Okay. I don't got a lot here, but it's going to be the second idea. page. What a bright idea. Yeah. Two pages. Oh. Uh, long. That's, one, That's one a dream. great idea. Maybe you the reading light. Just one dream. I'm going to yes. actually do that. Like, yeah, one dream. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if it's, you know, in the long run. Yeah, I like this. There's a lot of filler. I hate it when I remember. Came to mind, right? Yeah, I'm a good reason to go to the music studio. It takes a long time. I can't remember. Second spin. Second spin? Second spin. You get everything you want at third price. I'll probably share one here eventually. Use with caution. <coughs> if there's another one, could you pass it to yeah, me behind you? Alright, I don't know if you can have it.
Inmire, this is you, right? No, this is uh, Eldar. This is Eldar? Sir, if you want to take the hot seat, so you can be close to Pierre's microphone. The brown? Oh, yes. Eldar, we don't want to train here. No. <laughs> no. Why not? No, 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 no. Red friend doesn't want any seat. more problems in here. <laughs> 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 you can turn that light off. Right on top. There you go. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you know, in the old days, they used to say when they met one another, oh hell. <laughs> and, you know, that caused so much problem over time that they turned it around, which is where they get hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh hell! <laughs> what do you think of the dream? I don't know. It's pretty weird. Hmm? It's oh weird. yes, yes. Yeah. What makes it? What do you think it's weird about it? Um, I'm just thinking of the the guy parking the car on this like skateboard kind of ramp, <laughs> almost vertically. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I of car seems to appear in more than one paragraph, doesn't it? The car? Yeah, car. Yeah. Yeah. Right, first three paragraphs, all about the car. Mm-hmm. Are you a car salesman? No. Oh, okay. Wanted to make sure. Yeah. Uh, how are you doing on the first paragraph? Um. Nah, like a C, maybe. Uh, I could have been more assertive with the parking issue. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how um, about the second paragraph? Well, we end up uh, not parking there, so it turns out gr turns out good. Um, okay. Yeah, good. Okay. Because it yeah. Uh, third paragraph. It was a fun, it was kind of a fun, playful interaction. Hmm. Uh, the fourth paragraph, I just uh, hit each one. This guy uh, appear in the dream. Yeah. He had some um, some kind of uh, some kind of formalities, some kind of duties at this wedding mm -hmm. uh, that he was gonna do, and uh, he uh, janitor. <laughs> no, it was oh. it was like um, not a janitor. It was pretty important for the wedding. Oh. oh. Would that be the bartender? <laughs> <laughs> Even Definitely up. important for the wedding. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Um, <laughs> something like uh, something pretty high up there, like uh, like walk, walking the bride, or or something like that. Walking the bride down the aisle, or something along those lines. Maybe giving a speech, or uh, maybe being the pastor, or... Well, oh, oh, the what, pastor. What kind of people do that? Um, Tennis players. I don't know, like good friends of the 
of the family? Oh, giving a speech at, at a wedding would be a good thing. Yeah, okay. It says duties and responsibilities, though. Um, Looks like it's uh, more formal than that, doesn't it? It kind of has a ceremonial feel to it. Oh. Like, uh, like maybe like a pasta. Like, you know. I don't know exactly what a pasta does. But. Well, priest. Priest. It sounds like pasta. Oh? The, the uh, priest. Pri the, what? The priest? Minister. A minister. minister. Or officiating. Oh. Yeah, like a minister. Oh. Well, let me do that again. Oh. Conducting the ceremony oh. or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, What do you think, therefore, how you are functioning in the last paragraph? <clears throat> um, I mean... Uh, You're being invited to do what? What was it? The priest's the priest, duties. The priest. Well, I'm not interested in it. So I, yeah, I just want to know who's in the dream, that's all. I'm doing okay. Huh? I'm doing okay. I don't know whether you're doing okay or not unless I figure out what this means. Um, what, are you, what are you invited to? to become or to be? Well, the girl and I are invited to, um, to to start like familiarizing ourselves with that that job, that that position. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Almost like a like a mini uh, apprenticeship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm not interested in it, so I'm like... Eh. Yeah, because it doesn't pay enough? No, because it's it's just not something I'm into. Like, uh, oh. I don't really have any interest in, it, in the dream. Yeah, isn't it interesting that, as you just pointed out, it's not just you, but you and the girl. Yeah. Um, so you both are being invited, as it were, to take on a certain task. Yeah. Uh, what's her reaction to your indifference or rejection um, in the dream? She, she didn't really... I, I don't remember that there was any... That's good. Kind of, okay. Yeah. It doesn't count. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It was kind of like um, I don't know if this is what it was in the dream, but it felt kind of like we were part of that family, the girl and I, and um, that's why we were both uh, invited. It's kind of like a, a next in line kind of thing. <coughs> <coughs> uh, next in line for what? For, um, uh, like, continuing a tradition. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, of being a... Minister. Minister, a priest, one of those things. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not interested in that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, how did this Pierre tell, tell you and the girl? You said humorously in the dream. <coughs> um, I don't know, it was like in a joking, light-hearted kind of way. <coughs> I don't quite remember, but it was kind That's of, good. That's kind good. of like, hey, you guys. Yeah. yeah. Nudging us. Yeah, kind of encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Uh, yes. 
So how are you doing on the first stream? First paragraph. I think you mentioned it a moment ago, but I'd like to hear it. Uh, it's kind of like... Uh, I, I said I wanted to be more assertive. I should have been more assertive. But then it does end up in the second paragraph. No, no, just in the first paragraph. Okay, and not assertive enough. Yeah. Is there a danger there that you're ignoring? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not ignoring it, but I'm not pushing it hard enough to make sure it, it doesn't it doesn't happen. <coughs> Is there anything similar between those two paragraphs, the way you're functioning? Um, like you're not going any further in both? Paragraph, I don't, I don't want to go further, but in the first one, I do want to go further, but I don't. They're both things you're not going further in, is that right? Yeah, that's right. <coughs> oh. uh, so in the second dream, the second paragraph, uh, uh, it looks interesting that it's resolved, doesn't it, without you? Yeah. Yeah. It, but it seems like it's without me. Yeah. So things are going fine. <coughs> yeah. uh, the last, the third paragraph. Um, what's it like when uh, uh, y you kick his butt? <laughs> That's your father. You're kicking. Hmm. Yeah, you know, it's a normal thing to do, which is why I asked. But it wasn't hard or anything. It was just like a. Uh, he was like. Uh, he was kind of teasing us, and we. I was teasing him back, and like, it's kind of like, hey, get out of here. Yeah, it's the girl and you together again, isn't it? Yeah. And you're both, the three of you are walking towards the school. Uh, he's walking towards the school. We're hanging around the car. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Um, can I presume you can uh, tell me something about what it was like when you kicked him or nudged him or however you, however you describe him? Um. <coughs> It was just playful and fun. Was, yeah, uh, yeah. Then you're following his spirit. Right? Where the, you're both following the spirit of teasing or playing. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> yeah, we're kind of... Um, that's right. We're kind of copying him or... <coughs> continuing that, that mood. Yeah. Well, see, he's carrying something, isn't it, when you gave him that kick? He's carrying something, yeah. 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 But he took it playfully. Mm -hmm. Well, then, in the third paragraph, you're acting, aren't you? As different than the other paragraphs. Like a funny show. Yeah. Or like under the banner of humor, you can yeah. act. Yeah. Uh, and imitate him. Is that right? Hmm. In, in the dream. Yeah, yeah, that's. That's what happens, yeah. What, what? That's what happens, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. 
So is the dream saying under what circumstances <coughs> you're willing to get involved and on the other hand, circumstances you're not? Is that what's going on? In the dream? <coughs> Does it look like the dream is telling you in, under what circumstances you are engaging actively and in uh, the other scenes? You're not playing a role, or it's a negative role? Um, Are like these four ways of relating you got here? Yeah. By the way, in which are you being most yourself? Um, which am I being most myself? Um, when I recognize the danger with the, with the car. Um. So your seeing is good, but how about your action in respect to what you're seeing? Like you clearly see the danger, you say, you know, if that brake goes, this is going to go barreling down the street. You know. Yeah, the, my uh, my acting on what I see is not good in the first paragraph. Oh. oh. And in the last paragraph? I think that's fine too. I'm not. I'm not interested in it, so I don't engage it. But I'm being myself. <coughs> uh, is that correct? You're, that's a high point, being yourself. I don't think it's a high point. But okay, it's, well, it's, it uh, at least you're closer to being yourself in the fourth paragraph. Closer than. <coughs> I forgot to ask you something. Uh, in this dream, there's a guy by the name of uh, Pierre. In the dream, uh, can you tell me what? A, tell me about this guy in the dream. I mean, uh, Could it just be Fred? It wouldn't make any difference. No, it makes a difference. Oh, in what way does it make a difference? Uh, it's a bit hard to remember because uh, I, I don't actually even know where this part of the dream was, the last part. It may have been at the start or... Uh, I don't know if it is right there where it is. But um, he, he did have a, um, a, a higher kind of... Uh, status. Oh. Uh, See, the higher you point him, uh, the more interesting your rejection. That's why I was wondering in the yeah. dream, this guy Pierre, how does he appear? Or, uh, yeah. Do you yeah. recognize him as uh, uh, anyone <coughs> that you know called Pierre? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to take on any of his duties or, or responsibilities. That the guy is saying, take it on. Is that right? Well, yeah. In the dream, it doesn't. It doesn't look very appealing. Yeah. And would you not agree? Of all things, you don't want to be is like Pierre. That's not true. Well, yes, it is. <laughs> no. no? Well, the higher the role he has, uh, looks like uh, the more you don't like the idea of taking on that duties or responsibilities. I don't know about that. 
comparison. But... Well, I can't. How do you understand it? I just looked at. Well, I don't. I don't understand it. It's well, like... A moment ago, you, you said the, the Pierre has a high post or duties. Yeah. yeah. And my comment was, well, the higher that goes, the more interesting your rejection because you don't like that idea. Right, I, I get it. It's of doing it. Yeah. See, of doing it, it. It's just, in the dream he has that high, um, high status, but I don't particularly like the, the ceremony, the, the thing that he's involved in in the dream. Other than that, he's he's great. <laughs> oh, other than that, he's great. So you wouldn't I mean, want to. I see. It makes sense then. You sure wouldn't it, want to be like him. Because it seems like uh, he's also doing it out of a kind of um, duty or formality. I, I, I don't know if he. What, really what, what kind of formality? What'd you call it? Duty. Duty or formality. D U T I. Oh, duty or formality. T Y. Thank you. But he's doing it in a humorous way. Pierre, are you trying to save Pierre? He, he's he's trying to um, sorry. He's trying to get us to do it. He's communicating with us in a humorous way. I don't know that he's doing the thing in a humorous way. Yeah. Um, it seems like it's it's, it's like it's part of his his job. Something that. Yeah, well, if in any way in the dream you have any image at all of what kind of job the guy has or does or is, it would it be helpful? But it's enough to say he's got a high post. Yeah. He's got a high post as a person in the, in the dream. And I look up to him in the dream, but this, this seems like something that's not really. Doesn't seem in line with that. Yeah, because of all things, uh, weddings are not important. Mm -hmm. uh, are they? <coughs> Hell yeah. Right, I mean. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it. And to be able to give a talk or a speech at one is not important either. No, no, so I'm on your side. No, it is important. What? Yeah. Wait a minute. The more important that becomes, what does that do to your reluctance to take it on? Oh, oh let me forget that. <laughs> Say, what role is Pierre playing in the dream for you? at that moment. Uh, like a, a mentor. I don't know the word, so try another one. Mentor. What the hell is that? Mm, like he's trying to teach us something. Oh, if he's a teacher, then what is he doing at that moment in the dream? Encouraging. Oh. You're failing? Yeah. Yeah, you're failing. <laughs> oh, no, no, he sees you as a failure. No, I was saying he's failing. Oh, oh, no, he's not seeing you as a failure. What's he doing? What name do you give it? Um. Well, I don't know, it's... Um if mentor, he, encouraging. Uh, uh, I don't use mentor. I don't like that word. <coughs> he's like. Okay, okay, he's a teacher. Trying to teach something. Is he trying to, or is he? Does he think the person that he's encouraging uh, is at a place where he can do whatever it is? <laughs> what, what's he doing? God. <laughs> well, he's trying to pass on 
Oh, something. what do you call it? Pass on. Pass on something. Oh, oh, what is there a name for that kind of stuff? Uh, <laughs> passing on. I don't know. Passing what, what? on something. Uh, Pet one. When a teacher passes on their duties to to, to a student, what is that called? Passover. Passover. It's like an like an. It's a Passover. In, 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 <laughs> it's like an inheritance. Oh, oh, so what are you being invited to be? Uh, the, the next, like the next in line. Oh, 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 well that's not important. Whatever it is. Yeah, that's <laughs> not important. I, I can understand why you'd say no. Um. Uh, what does that do to your dream? <clears throat> well, it, it, it brings a, um, a much bigger importance to what I was dismissing. Oh. oh. But I don't know. It's just... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know what. Well, like, it, it, the way we've reasoned through everything, it brings a, uh, a lot of importance to what he's doing and what he's offering. Oh. But it still doesn't, it still doesn't look appealing to me. I so don't then, mind that. So then I guess... So, so you're turning down the job. So now I'm wondering whether or not I'm um, I'm correct in turning down the job. Well, that's all I want to know is what state of, state of mind are you in at that moment? state of mind that looks, come on, what's it like at that moment in the journey? It's kind of like, um... <coughs> With you, right, at that moment. You say, hey, it's funny. I'm stuck. But I don't want it to, two things are going on. It's funny and you don't want it, right? What's that like being in the middle of that? Hey, that was funny. I don't want to. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know. it's kind of like that. It's like, uh, it's kind of, uh, good. It's good. kind of like a, yeah. it's yeah. like a hassle. Yeah, a hassle. Good, good to be a hassle. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, you just kind of. Oh, by the way, to go further in the first paragraph, would that be, uh, Avoiding a hassle. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's similar. Yeah. It's like a, yeah, it's a hassle seems to be running through that dream. That that state of mind is blocking me from pushing this further. Yeah. In yeah. The first paragraph. Yeah. Yeah. And it also appears in the last paragraph. Uh, would you mind? Uh, I'm not familiar with English. This is my first language, as you know. What hassle? What state of mind is that? Um. It's like a... Kind of like a, a lazy, frozen, per, lazy paralysis. 
That's good. I like that. Uh, what does it do to you? Um. It just kind of, it, it, it really, like, um, uh, it makes me like a, like a, uh, what is it, a, a slouch, like a, um, a, a, a sloth. Good, like a slouch. A, a sloth. What? A sloth. Sloth, yeah. Like a, um, it, it basically, uh, uh, uh I become like I can't I can't move. Uh, yeah, right, right, uh, right, uh, right, 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 right. Stuck. Yeah. Stuck. Uh, yeah, you're familiar with that state, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Where does it come from? Hmm. Uh, the th the thing that comes to mind is. Um, when my parents used to make me go to um, this uh, Islamic school, is, this Islamic um, school weekend school, yeah, uh, and um, and I really didn't want to go, and it was like, oh, I, it's just like so hard to get myself to move. Yeah, I, I, I really don't want to go. Um, Because I'm not interested in it, and I just. Uh, how did they respond to your whatever you want to call it? What do they do? Use the, your, your go ahead, finish it. The only time that they would let me um, off the hook was when I pretended that I was sleeping. Mm. Oh, talk about that. I like that. This actually come up once before. And was, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, when, when it's time, like, like the, the school was, the morning school was at 10 a.m., but I would, um, I would, I would wake up earlier than that. And because I know I don't want to go, I would just pretend to keep sleeping <laughs> for like two hours or yeah. <laughs> for a long time. Um, <coughs> and then I would like hear them coming to check on me kind of Yeah. and then I would actually hear my mom say oh, le leave him alone he's sleeping and that was the only way that I could get out of um, out of going say so, uh, that's a pretty important moment Yeah. she's on your side how often was she on your side of it? Not against your father? Not very often at all. Yeah, she's... Yeah. What's she doing? She's like... She's supporting that state. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> she's showing love. Right, and supporting the state of the sloth, which is pretty nice flow. Or not, is it? What's going on? What is she doing? She's breeding a sloth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, now we understand why you'd say no to this duties. You'd have to give up the sloth. Or be more forceful in the first paragraph. So I'd, I'd advise you not to change. <laughs> I, I all can answer my opinion at these points. What do you think of that? That's ridiculous. What? What are you going to do about it? This is your mother. She's the teacher. <coughs> you know, in, in my family, uh, sleep has like this. Holy status. Holy status. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like... Leave him alone. He's, he's just, sleeping. Uh, and that's like... Yeah. Let him be a sloth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's good. It's a high state. Yeah, it's very thoughtful of her. 
And your pa yeah, your father uh, goes along with it. Oh, he's very holy. He's, he sleeps all the time. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> King of it looks like it runs somewhere in the family. Is it time to get out of it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. But you can't get too much out of a dream. No. <coughs> you know. Oh, a good one. Switch plate. Uh, I, I, so how did that end? Sean, anybody got an extra copy? There's, uh, I don't know, I only mean six. The, the same state of mind and all. Oh, you just got one when one everybody's in, in the driver's seat, what you want to do is you're letting them do what? what? Yeah. You went here, were you? <coughs> Camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I saw the one you have. The past, yeah. the past, well, the past it just seems like in each one there was somebody in the driver's seat. And in each time, they were playing a role that wasn't sufficient. And, and in each one, you found a way of rejecting their guidance. And the last one, you found a way of rejecting the guidance. I was, I was being a, a sloth. Because when people suggest good things for you, or when people suggest yeah. things for you. Uh, when there's things that, uh, that involve duties and responsibilities. If I, if I wanted, if, if I was to get into those things, I would have to let go of being a sloth. Can you possibly make about three more copies of each other pages? Because we're four. Sure. There's a lot of people who don't have it. Uh, two page three. Two page three. Okay, here we go. Yes. Thanks, Dave. I'm going to turn this off now. Oh, oh there's a hero. <laughs> Didn't notice. How many people don't have a copy? Two, three. Oh, you can read it okay, Jenny? You don't need a copy? This is actually her copy, so... I know it is. She That's was why nice I'm asking her. Because she didn't put her hand up when I said how many people have copies. Why well, I don't <coughs> what? I don't need one. He's got it just to take picture and then I'll get it back. No, 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 no. I, He's going to keep it forever. And I'll ever oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, then I'll be on your... Here's the next one. There's the next one? Okay. I thought you were going to get it back. Here. Oh, you don't want it? No, I want to hold the baby. Let me see. That's an interesting switch. <laughs> a dream for a baby. That's okay. It's also got the um, mm. on the logos of dreams on the back. I was like, mm. Mm. Okay, one, two, one, I've got one in here. Two, two, and we have mine with some. Superior. 
I have a copier. David Next does door. too. David does too. Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry. I can so relate to parts of this. <laughs>
Mm. Curious, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, what do you find curious about it? Um, there's a theme of what I call cool. I see running throughout, there's um, people who exhibit a certain personality that I find interesting. Yeah, yeah, quite right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you conclude uh, about the role of being cool in that dream? That it's a... Something that... Um, is it good for everyone? What? In some way, it's like... What, 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 what? I gotta hear that again. It's a good for everyone. Everyone around someone who I'm what I'm calling cool in yeah. this story. It, it, anyone who comes into contact with that is good. Is put into it is changed for the better. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be nice if that were true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always like to agree. Yeah. Such a big laugh, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun to get. What? What? I said it's fun to have uh, your ideas shot down. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't shoot it down, did I? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> or do you see that you've shot it down? I may have, and just don't well, see it. What's going on in the stream? Yeah. I mean, it's really curious. I mean, well, it's just, just uh, start with the first paragraph. Give yourself a grade for that. Because there's nothing better than being cool, because people are cool, they're always better. Yeah, I mean, really I only describe the way yeah. she looks, so it's just kind of an appearance thing. But there, there is something else there, like the way she carried herself, and the way she act, interacted with other people was this beautiful thing. It was really what I'm calling cool. But yeah, because yeah. she's just being herself and she doesn't need any other... Well, she puts a wig on. Oh, oh, oh. So that's kind of oh, interesting. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what else? Well, that, I guess it's sort of an act. No. Yeah, like I even say it's like a rock star. So... Well, then, what is she a... What do you call her, then? You mean like a performance artist? A performance artist. Yeah, but yeah. I thought that was yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that give a, a true or a false image of herself? Uh, that would sound like a false image of herself. But yeah. it's cool. Yeah, because it was like a... Yeah, a I under, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, when it's cool, it's good for the everyone around who's cool. They, they're, they're better for it. No. No? Yeah, that's very wrong. So, yeah. I don't see that. Well, what do you see? <laughs> what I, well, could we ask what, what price you're paying for this idea of cool you have? Yeah, it's, I guess it's like being... I feel kind of duped now that I'm talking about it. Ooh. It gets worse later in the dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, it gets worse. <laughs> This hair is pretty mellow. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of my yeah. colleague? I didn't say uh, it. He's a, he's a wise ass. Hey, Jeff said it. <laughs> I'm not cool. But he's very cool. <laughs> I, I used to be cool, but I... Now you're not. All right. A long time ago. Now you're wise. He's got a, he's got a wig <laughs> on his car. So What's <laughs> happening to the state of cool in your dream? That's crumbling quickly. <laughs> Was Jeff right? Uh, I think so. I, I worry that he is. Hey, wouldn't you agree <laughs> you have a perfect archetype of the cool guy. Yeah, the waiter. Yeah, and what is he, what is he doing to you? <laughs> what is he doing to me? Yeah, how about he's <laughs> doing something good for you. Yeah, he, yeah, I'm definitely not in the right place in the restaurant. <laughs> but he got me a couple of drinks. What did he do? <laughs> <Make it up laughs> <to me. laughs> did you get what you wanted? I got some drinks. <laughs> You got sent know. outside on the <laughs> patio, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cold out there. 
You wonder yeah. whether it, he's got a heater out there. Yeah, he asks yeah. about the heater. Yeah, and he yeah. says, here, have he two says, drinks. He says, no, have, have some whiskey. Because <laughs> whiskey will keep you warm. Yeah. <laughs> That's a real cool guy. Yeah, I'm going to guess. He's an ideal archetype. Yeah, he's an uh, alcoholic yeah. comedian. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but he's really good at taking what care of What's dream saying to you? Good heavens. <laughs> I guess it's saying that you don't know what you're talking about when you say cool. Oh, you mean, did you hear what Jeff said before? He said he once had that idea and he had to give it up. Yeah. This is true. Hmm. What do you think of that guy? Yeah, he might know what he's talking about. Oh. But I still don't see it. Well, so you don't see what? <laughs> I don't see what he means. Well, would you, do you think this is a good guide for future behavior to keep that idea of cool that you have? Uh, probably not, no. Yeah, what's the word probably? <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's yeah. Not. Yeah. Yeah. Cut that, out. that keeps it cool, doesn't it? Probably. <clears throat> yeah, that would hang. That would be hanging on to it a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That was an interesting part in here. I thought, in uh, respect to that great idea. Uh, next to the last paragraph. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're trying to get in touch with Philly. Mm -hmm. Then you're in contact with her in some way, right? Yeah. Then I told her where to go and something like that. Mm -hmm. Is that being cool in the dream? Like, what state of mind are you in? You now finally get in contact with her. Yeah, well, there is a um, over, like, there was this feeling as if she knew where I was the whole time. Like, I didn't actually, in the dream, I never made contact with her. Yeah. It was just assumed that she was on her way. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, but does it look like uh, you made connection? Yeah, I did at some point. Yeah. Yeah. I what was it been. like at that moment? That's what I'd like to know. Um, it, in, at this moment in the dream, it's just a, a, a. I know that she's coming. It's sort of a relief. Yeah. That there's that she's coming. Is there the state of being cool in that, mm. or is it absent? No, there's no state of being cool there. Yeah, so no. that you can be genuine and forthright. Yeah. 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 Right, with someone you love and relate to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <coughs> so. Uh, and it was a. It was a relief, I would say. Yeah. Because I had, this, you know. I had like a problem with my clothes yeah. and all my stuff. Right. So there was sort of an anxiety there. And then it, re it relaxed, right? You yeah. now have a relief, right? Yeah. You're in contact with her. Yeah. I called her and told her Yeah. what needed to be done, right? Mm -hmm. Say, so you've been in states before when you were had a sense of relief. Uh, what is it about that state that uh, you want to tell me about? Could you describe it? Um, it's someone knowing that someone cares about you and you can depend on them. Um, I mean, we could say like knowing someone has your back or. Uh, Looks like that's a very nice state of mind. Yeah. How does it yeah, compare it with the cool? Um, in the dream. One is real scene, and yeah. the other is appearance. Oh. Or. Why are you having that dream? I don't know. That's what I wanted to know. I asked that's why it I came first. Here. Yeah. He, I mean, <laughs> why I. I don't know, maybe because we had just 
gone through a, a fight or I don't know, maybe. It, it is there be. some lingering of this idea of being cool that's uh, playing a role in your life that maybe you ought to stop and look on? I think so. So it looks like you don't need it when you're relating meaningfully with someone. No. Um, I think I have an idea of what that, that might be, that yeah. idea of being yeah. cool. Sure. I don't know if that's what the dream is. is I, just mean, offhand, uh, you've had states of mind called relief in the past. Uh, where would you rate, rate that one? I was very relieving. I would say like an eight or a nine on yeah. a scale of ten. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. That's a pretty interesting state of mind. It's up there, isn't it? Yeah. Sure. Sure it is. So maybe you don't have to. Consider this world of appearances to be yeah. cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, the waiter gets you there pretty bad. Yeah. Well, I, I love this line here. It says his personality. Uh, where he said, "Waiter comes up and he's just so interesting." Yeah, isn't it? First, just so interesting. So that says yeah, go ahead. You, know, you got a view of it. Yeah. This person he feels like a bit of a comedian mixed with an alcoholic mixed with somebody, and this is where it gets interesting, uh, somebody who's really good at taking care of people and making people feel like they belong and that they're important it, while right. giving them, it feel makes you like feel like you're, you belong and you're important, but then he says, uh, by the way, I double booked this table and get out and go sit in the cold, but, but I'll give you a few yeah. whiskeys to yeah. make up for it. What do you think, what do you say? <laughs> it's true. No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, even, I didn't even see it like that. Oh, you know? yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Got another one? Yeah. What? Well, don't you think that part of what Jeff's point was Thank the you. idea yeah. of taking care of? There's this cool guy taking care of, and then you, you just have the oh, contrast good. with um, Philly. What do you see in that? Mm. Um... Well, he is like much more captivating. Like there is like a, uh, there is like a um, gravitational pull, sort of, of like that ideal of what I'm calling cool. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like very. Uh, I would, uh, I would. It's akin to like watching reality television or something that's just kind of like low level but you you're drawn to it in some way where you're just captivated by the by the way they're acting but then when you see it like this and you compare it yeah mm. it, it appears very low and deflated but when you're in, when you're in it and you're seeing it you think it's the highest but deflated suggests he actually is helping you, taking care of you, to use the language of the dream. Right. Yeah. I mean, reflecting is that on right taking now care of be, you? Um, well, not, uh, not the, no, not particularly. I mean. See, because it sounds like that's the same reluctance that you had with seeing the real nature of cool. Is like, this still, you want to hold on to the idea that it's taking care of you. How, how were you dressed again? Uh, like a homeless person? In shorts. Yeah, in a long trench coat. And so you didn't want to be out on the patio? No. And he's going to give you whiskey, though. Yeah, because it perfect. would warm me up. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what whiskey does, right? Yeah. Or it makes you feel warm. Yeah, it makes you feel warm. <laughs> so again, is, is it like a di difference between feel and appearance and reality? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. 
Right, they do say if you're out really about to freeze to death, don't drink whiskey. Don't drink whiskey. <laughs> you, yeah. may, you may feel like it's going to work, but it is actually cooling you down. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if he knows that. That's, that would be I didn't know okay. that either. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Nice <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does that suggest uh, you have a way of getting to be uh, closer to yourself? I don't know. I don't know. Neither do I. That's why I asked. <clears throat> Closer to myself? Well, if you were to develop that relief state, yeah, would that be a better? <laughs> yeah. Look at the words you put on that relief state. Caring, nine, right? Uh-huh. Clear, right? Clear? Uh-huh. If you were to further cultivate that state, would you then be in a, have a different view of yourself than the state of mind called being cool? Yes, because I would be, I would uh, be dependent on someone else, or mm-hmm. fully invested in someone mm-hmm. else rather than this idea of being cool. Yeah. Playing yeah. the game with appearances. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, how are you going to get closer to yourself then? Well, by getting closer to the people I love. Hmm. Mm. There is. Mm. You think all of these dreams have the same goal? Trying to tell us something about ourselves? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's pretty cool. (laughs) (laughs) In the real sense of the word, yes. Right, that's maybe in a higher level, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe you have to boost your idea of cool into making it Cooler than cool. Yeah. <laughs> the coolest. Cold. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Mm. How important has cool been to you? I think it's been more more prevalent with um, like all of our technology and everything where people are like I was telling Philly the other day like I, I, I feel like if I turn on the Instagram or something like that I see people posting these things that are like look at what I'm doing Hmm. and I have this like fear of missing out of like everyone's surfing, Hmm. everyone's snowboarding, everyone's doing all these things and I feel like I'm just home all the time Hmm. with the family and um, that that causes a lot of like tension in my soul where I have this idea of what's cool and what I should be doing and it doesn't necessarily align with reality at all it's just sort of that world of it's reinforcing that appearance world so yeah we you know I had mentioned that to her in the past week so I think this ties into that in some way taps yeah. into it yeah, very good Mm. And, and I know issue, I can't, there's another issue. question I can't think what would go with that, but um, so that's I'm just like oh go ahead, Gina. And as you could compare the way you function with the guy with the whiskey and the lady, how are you functioning with Philly? Um, in the dream. Mm-hmm. Well, she is just on her way. 
so I know that I know that she's coming. <coughs> you know, so there is that. I'm not really directly functioning with her. Like she's not, she's never there. She's never in the room. She's never at the restaurant in the dream. But I know that she's on her way to get me. Oh, because you said so. I was in contact with her somehow, and I called her and yeah. told her where to go or something like. That. Yeah, and I had called her before the these scenes came about. So there was there was contact made. Maybe in the beginning of the dream or something like that, where she knew that I was there and she was coming. And you were relieved that she's coming in. Yeah. But how are you functioning then with the man who is an alcoholic? Like, what is your way of relating to his apparent coolness? Um, he's like he's like entertaining in some way. He's very entertaining. As well He's as captivating. The, as well as the lady? In no. the beginning? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, the lady in the beginning? Yeah. Same. Very, same. They're captivating, but what's your role? I'm just observing. Not really interacting with her particularly. I'm just... She's just getting her <coughs> things set up, and I'm, I'm just watching her. So, are you actively involved in with what they're doing or not doing or addressing them? Uh, her, I don't address in any way. I just watch her, just observing. And what's like? What's the? What's that mean to you that you're not interacting with the waiter and or her? But well, with the waiter, the, there's a difference because with the waiter, I'm um, he's waiting on me. So we're, we do have an exchange. But with the woman in the beginning, it's just more of an observing her. Yeah. How does that fit into what you just said regarding your answer to Barbara, which was entertaining, entertainment, and the idea of cool? I think they're both on the same level in that regard. Like they're both similar characters. Um, but when I'm watching, when I'm looking at her and I'm thinking she's cool, like before we had this talk, I was convinced that she was cool up until now. So, um, mm -hmm. I guess what I'm asking is that your functioning or your way of talking about your relationship with Philly in the dream was that you would, that it showed some contact with somebody you loved. And you, in the conclusion, you said that it would be nice to further com that. Mm -hmm. But can you do that with these other entertainers? And is that a possibility? No, I don't think so. I mean, the only... No, I, f I feel like they're just, they're just, they're just in, around, you know, and those... If I see them for what they really are, no. If I'm continuing to be captivated by their appearance and entertainment, and then, yeah. But not when there, not when I can understand the difference between the two. <clears throat> because one is Greater. involving you more. Yeah. And well, one truly cares them. about me and loves me, and the other is just doing it for show, or maybe to get a tip. Okay. And also, <laughs> you're involved more. Yeah. Sean. Yes. So when you said it's more involved with technology and, a, and, and you listed a bunch of uh, Instagram and yeah. a bunch of sports and as things that you once participated in, right? Yeah. So 
being cool in that sense is tied to a lot of activities that you used to be involved with before you had a charm. Yeah. Mm. So that that's interesting. Then being cool is tied to a lifestyle. Yeah. And therefore, um, self identity. Yeah. Okay. So would you agree that Xenophanes could have said, "It is the whole that sees." hears, thinks, and is cool, or not? No. I no? Don't, I think that's that's elevated. That's um, elevating it? The hmm. whole it sees, thinks, what, hears. What's that? Say it again. What she said? Well, either way, I was interested in what you just said, but I don't mind. I, I think, yeah, think what she said sounds like much more of an elevated, above the world of appearances. Uh -huh. in, a, in a sense. And to be cool is just... Is the is a lower level. Interesting. So Xenophanes wouldn't say cool? I don't think it fits in. Or the self. Would you say <coughs> self is cool? I don't think that fits there either. Hmm. That's a corollary. So, well, I like what Pierre was saying. So, like, say we took the lady in the first scene. Mm -hmm. Let's say they did interact, and she said, "Actually, I'm wearing these glasses in this wig because I sell crap a little better." But hey, what's your highest state of reality? What What do you think about that? You know, if they'd have that sort of interaction, you know, you might be able to still call her cool, and doing something on a much higher level, while yeah. shafting people on a lower level. She, well, I don't know. Well, I mean, the, she so, might be selling something very good. I don't yeah, know. Oh, okay. Well, you had to start <laughs> the story with selling. Well, that's stuff what she was doing, doing in the dream. She was selling some stuff. Yeah. Some good yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's interesting how all these cool people seem to have ah, so many accessories that make them cool. A gift. Yeah. So many things piled onto them. Even your clothing becomes yeah. kind of a, a burden. Yeah, Maybe there's a lot of appearance there. A lot of building up of appearance yeah. just to be cool. Yeah. But you know, well, what are you saying? Like the instant I see that around people, how you need the selfie of you in the tube of the wave or whatever. I'm like, well, didn't you just take yourself out of your fine state of mind you were into to get this nice shot? I, I get yelled at by some people once in a while. Like, you climbed up this giant mountain and you didn't take a picture. Well, I have a picture. It's right up here. Go walk yourself up. <laughs> yeah. Gee, it's a beautiful dream. The contrast between what you perceive to be cool and what is really your life. Say, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, will it? <laughs> What's the last point? I said that it's really beautiful dream. It's showing the contrast between what's really, what he perceives to be cool mm -hmm. and what's really his life and what really is meaningful. Hey. Um, that point Barbara made is a curious one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, about that. What is the, the hole that, what is it, the hole that, what is it? <laughs> it's the hole that sees, that hears, and thinks, and is cool. Say, so, what if it turned out that the people who are holding on to that question mm. are involved in a different way of using their mind than people are not? And, I might, would, it, and might it show itself up in their dreams? I think so. Yeah. It is a rather nice. curious position she's holding, isn't it? Are you saying that? Uh, no, she, she's saying. <laughs> is she saying that I'm somehow above that level of cool? Uh, uh, ask. Uh, uh, is that what you're implying? I think so. But you could reflect on that state with Philly and answer for yourself, perhaps. <laughs> well, I'm amongst all of, all of you, so... <laughs> mm. We have to wait and see. One of the really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Next read. <laughs> what would you urge then from your former position? Yeah. Well, oh, I my former position, I would say you can drop the is cool part mm. and just work on the other part. The is part. Do you know anybody around here doing that? I think I know some people oh. doing that. Yeah. Well, maybe we should ask them. I don't know if I know anybody in this Maybe room. we should ask them about it. Oh, good idea. Go ahead. But you'll have to pick <laughs> out the person. What? I have to pick out the. Well, I think 
as I said, I really don't think there's anybody here that isn't searching with that question. So I think you could pick anyone. But I, I picked on... Yeah, good John idea. John Harry said, no, I'm not into that. He did? <laughs> Is that... Yeah, that's what you said. You yeah, said I you're not into that. the yeah. self? Yeah, that's how he answered you. Mm-hmm. Really? I didn't hear that part. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> hmm. yeah, yeah. I think it's... Um, I think he said, uh, I don't think that fits for me. Is that what you said? He said it was... That well, was, he, she she put that cool statement into mm-hmm. Zen, Zenophany. Yeah, right. And, and I, you said, I said, I don't think that fits in Yeah, there. right. So he doesn't think it fits. But I, that doesn't mean he's not into the, the Xenophanies. It means he, he thinks that cool doesn't go there because it's too low. Well, then ask doesn't him a it? question so I can hear. Mm, is that right? Yeah. So what are you seeing in your study of Xenophanies? Yourself, that is. Well, <clears throat> I'm having trouble with the world of appearance. Mm. Yeah, yeah. My Uncle Louie had the same problem. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, but so you're answering me not with the self, but with the world of appearance, right? Yeah, well, the problem. Which problem is that? That I have... That's the source <coughs> of the drama is not being able to see through that world of appearance. <coughs> I think that's where the drama is. I agree, yeah. Until now. So you could answer her question about what it is that sees and hears. Yeah, that's... Uh, you could say, whatever is cool does that. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. You were, no, you were rejecting the idea of cool. He was, yeah. Or beginning to, or thinking about it. or. I was considering it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Considering it. Well, yeah. I mean... It doesn't, it doesn't have to be bad, but the way that you've been talking about it, it's all, and in the dream, it's all attached with appearances, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Therefore, tell them off. I mean, tell them what you think. <laughs> well, I mean, are we talking about temperance? Temperance is cool-headed. Uh, that could be another uh, underlying... Higher lo- idea Yeah, higher of cool. level of it, Yeah. <clears throat> And I did lose my cool this past week, so... No. Mm. Uh. <laughs> you know where you lost it? I'll go get it. <laughs> yeah, it's at my house. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want, is. I want clarification. What kind of cool did he lose? Like the cool of the image cool or the... Well, lost his No, cool. the temperance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you... You did say that your that is coming into conflict with your role as being in your home. Yeah. Right, and so your home means that you're there being dad. Right. And so, what's one of the main functions of being a father? Exercising temperance. <laughs> and caring for the child. Yeah. Providing care. Mm. Right. So you have these different models of care in the dream. Mm. Yeah. That follow cool. And that's that's in contrast to what you see you're actually doing by staying home, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is quite different. Funny you bring that up there, Josh. In this construction industry, I get to hear the horror stories of all kinds of people's failed family lives. And often they'll say the guy who sticks around with his kids through the horrible divorce and the fighting and all that and still takes care of their kids, the other guys will say that's cool that you actually stick around your family versus running off and drinking and gambling, whatever. And Snowboarding, spending. surfing. Well, you can take whatever you want, but uh, they'll yeah. say that actually doing the family thing is cool. And they're taking that to a higher level than the driving my big truck around in the mud. Well, aren't you doing other things at home? I mean, I've only seen you this morning, but you've told me of a few other activities that you do around your house. 
Yeah. Like what? Uh, play music, um, do carpentry. Is this breathing? <laughs> breathing? Oh, well, yeah. What's that stuff? <laughs> yeah, participating in the, uh, the good, or the one. But you do this Wim Hof breathing technique? Yeah. What happens when you practice that? Uh, there's, um, there's a lot of things that happen, um, you know, you might pop into a, a high state of mind doing that stuff. No. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> and that's also what you're doing at home? On occasion, <coughs> yes. On occasion. And what's the, sen is that cool, is that a cooling sensation? Mm. When you practice that? Yes, that is the, uh, that is a higher cool than. Uh, I actually the dream. want to know the sensation. This, like high, that's the highest cool. Yes. Do you experience warmth during that? Yeah. Because in the dream, there's this coldness going on. <clears throat> yeah. And then, what's it like when you know Philly's coming? It's very relieving and calming and. All those things that <laughs> tend to happen in the uh, like when you practice the meditation, Wim Hof. yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. What a contrast. So, uh, I wonder if I can get back to when you do the, the Philly meditation the point that Barbara was on. <laughs> mm. uh, have you heard of anybody um, who's been into this curious question of xenophonies? and what have they discovered? as a consequence of taking it on themselves. Do you know? Well, I mentioned to you the other day that I had been sitting with the question and that it enabled me to see a bunch of things more clearly, like um, I could distance myself from um, what, what I'll call, for lack of a better word, a counterattack. So if I planned a beautiful day, I get up and immediately I'm barraged with uh, memories of past crimes against me. And, <laughs> start, and I used to just get caught up in it and not get out of it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it would last a week, mm -hmm. two weeks. Mm -hmm. But with the question, I'm able to see that isn't that has nothing to do with me, in one sense. Mm. Um, so, and that lets me release that, so I can then go about my meditation, mm. or my day, of getting into things without carrying that burden. <coughs> That's one thing I would say. It, it leads to some interesting questions. The other day I was playing with it, had a lot of similarity to the questions of the... Um, you know, of, about Moo. Um, well, and about, <laughs> does it have a place? Does it have a limit? You know, I never went the route of how old is it? <laughs> or, you know, but all of those questions tend to like, uh, it seems like that question allows a great depth and richness. Do you know anyone else uh, who's into that? I think people should volunteer, that's my thought. Pardon me? Volunteer anybody? I just wondered. Well, Jeff sits, I know. I didn't write anything about it in my log book last week. Nothing. Or maybe something. Nothing or maybe something? Yeah, I wrote a couple And you're only so. limiting it to last week? We don't mind if it's two weeks old. Well, I mean, I don't always write anything down, but I did. <coughs> actually, it's more what... I was actually thinking yesterday, man, I must be doing so good at this because all this other shit keeps coming up constantly and knocking me right out of it, uh. and that wasn't <laughs> happening before. Oh, mm. interesting. Counter -attack. So you got the major counterattack thing happening. Oh, yeah. Science is doing well. <laughs> <laughs> I was suggesting if you want to see the pathologos, that's a good ah, question to have since definitely. you're bound to therefore. Yeah. Deal with mm. the counter attack. Yeah, I have to say, at any point I, was, you reach. It, I was never willing in the past to say, you know, that judgment I made, there is no basis in reality for that. 
you know. I, I was always like tied to my no my knowing that person mm. is a bad person, they out route to get me, on and on. And now with the sitting I can I can uh, I can really see that that isn't real. I have no I have no re grounds for that point of view. I mean, and that's a weird thing to discover, I think. Because when I made the decision or the judgment, I really thought I had grounds. But it was all couched in the language of my pathologos. But your question was whether, ooh, the last one was whether that sitting allows you to see your pathologos. I heard that one. Mm -hmm. You said... Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. And, but then you ask another question right now. I don't remember what it is. Wow. Well, so Barbara, I liked where you went with it when you start sitting with that state so well, then you start seeing through your own BS. Yeah. Like, mm. really, why is this coming up here? Yeah. Is there any bound, or is there any grounds for making, is this a true statement or not? Yeah. Mm. No. Yeah. There's all these attitudes and things going on with it, and when you think about it clearly, then no, there isn't one. And that like, lets me act on a higher level of justice, I think. Yeah, where true justice and not just um, retributive justice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. Like by asking the questions, it brings out the appearances of seeing and hearing and doing. But then by asking the question even deeper, it allows you to remember past those appearances. And well, them up or so I think it puts you in a near providential state. What do you mean? Well, because you're able, I think you're able to actually, I'm able to actually do something that's good <clears throat> rather than something mm -hmm. that fits into the pathologos as a good action. And, that, and that's major for me too because I have a lot of that helping game, you know. So. Well, I think we should try to get you to get into this so that we can hear more about it. I think yeah. we ought to ask some other people. Well, I love Providence, actually, and the fact that you say it gets you to act providentially <clears throat> makes me take your words, like, literally, like, then you actually act in the moment to see what is good and bring goodness to whatever is there. Yeah. In that way. So. It has to be a doing. Yeah. Or there's a doing involved. Because the Timaeus was saying that justice plays a a role in the Timaeus. And I heard we're going to go into the Timaeus, at least until we get the elements. That's cool. Yeah. I haven't figured out why I'm either on the verge of flu or something's happening, because I was so beat up yesterday night, you know, that I didn't go to Friday night yet again. But I think it has, it's, I, I, I'm developing a strategy to deal with it next time. So, <laughs> I, think it, I think it has to do with not resting at all during the day. And then yeah, at night, I, I just, I usually go to bed by 9 o'clock. And so, mm -hmm. At nine o'clock, at eight o'clock, I'm. If I haven't rested at all during the day, I'm. I'm. My body feels like somebody took a large stick to me. So. How does this fit in with that idea of death and the fado? I think it's a much, it's a, an approach beyond the fado in, in that that question. I mean, like you know, the fado has the. Um, collecting yourself from every part of the body, separating it as far as possible in, into a unity, and that state then is called uh, wisdom, right? If you get there. And um, you're able to see mo more clearly the nature of beauty, justice, and good, I think. But in any case, this doesn't require any yoga that I've seen. I don't know how it fits with the breathing exercise. That Very you're much. It's, it's, it brings about that. The separation, at least. <clears throat> We should get or it's this. easier. It's easier to cool, go, go there. This, to co collect and unify, separate the soul from the body. It's like a shortcut, I would say. You done that? Would you say that fits into the dream that you have? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The state, not so much the the breathing. Um, I feel like I was being duped in the dream, to tell you the truth. And like, but what about the last scene? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's... You mean when I know that Philly's Yeah, coming? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, yeah, that's... Uh, I can't really draw a parallel mm -hmm. there. I don't... In, well, in terms of 
states of mind, yeah, for sure. I think like the well, that's relief what or we're talking the relief, about, yeah. very much, yeah. That is that is the same, yeah. Cool. Yeah. That I mean that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just that, yeah. That feeling of, you know, huh. at some point you feel like uh, to put words on it is is cheating in itself, but it, it's like a feeling of being home, or wow, you know, like the soul is home. Mm. What a thought. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, does breathing play any role in that thing you're involved in? Actually, I'm really not aware of my breathing, but my breathing has a tendency to disappear in my city. You know, just stop breathing. Well, that is a way of understanding breathing. Yes, yes. I said the same thing, Barbara. Mm. Couldn't even right. tell you if I am breathing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Although, if I'm following my breath, it's like it's, it starts getting very thin and thin, thin, then it seems to not exist, not be breathing. Or like so tenuously, so tiny. Mm. Could that be counted as part of the collecting yourself in all parts of the body? Uh, I would hear an argument that suggests that. I, I don't know. Well, there are two parts. One is pulling together the soul from the different parts of the body, and one separated Collecting it together. to collect it together. Because a lot of people have body out of out of body experiences that don't experience the yoga part of it. Mm. That is to say, they don't encounter ultimate reality. Mm. They see themselves floating around, or <laughs> observing here and there and everywhere. Mm. They don't have the question about the self. Mm. What is seeing if you're separated from the soul, from the body? Mm. What will that do to the experience? Mm. Or to do something. How to do something. Well, we can easily set up an experiment for that. Just get Sean here to do it. Then we can ask him <laughs> questions about it. Uh, do you guys agree that he'd be a good... Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and he says he has experience in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's doing the breathing. That's right. He separated the soul from his soul. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it sounds like you guys are trying to make me work. No, not me. <laughs> yeah. These oh, people, yeah, they, they agreed. I just asked the question. <laughs> I think it'd be super cool. I wouldn't do that. I'd be cool with it. Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> cool. If you could come back to that report, you'd be like the coolest in my book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And if you happen to get a picture of yourself. So you know that, uh, <laughs> Could you take a selfie? You know, the guy a selfie of, uh, of selfie <laughs> Have you heard about that guy, you know, who, who uh, wears only shorts and bare feet and he runs up the Himalayas? Ah, that's the guy he said he's Yeah, technique. and he does it all through breathing. breathing. Wow. And Sean's in, yeah. in the dream. And bare feet, I don't know. Yeah. And that breathing looks like the same thing that uh, Jeff mentioned. Uh, yeah. And the effect it had you mentioned. Hmm. Maybe it ought to be put together. There's another aspect yeah, of it too cool. that is interesting. And he's a good he's look, he's a volunteer. Yeah. Right. We can see what it does to him. Good idea. The cold is something else too. Oh yes. It's part of that. Was oh like yes, yes. Immersing yourself in a shockingly cold no, state. Getting, get, getting out of the. To see how deep you can. Yeah. Withstand it. Let's see how well he's doing already. Yeah. Oh, I'd like some food. <laughs> I think Bronda has a drink. I have a drink. Oh. There you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but it's um, 12.15 already. Yeah. Oh, you guys have to... I don't know. Ask Pierre. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yes, Nancy? Well, you have to leave. I, I need to talk to Pierre for a minute. Shall we take a... So maybe... Five, five minute, minute break? Five minute break. We need to talk to you. Hmm? Hey. So push this.